Some of Mark Piet's recommendations have already been acted upon. For example, the setting up of an independent ethics committee to investigate the 2018 and 2022 World Cup votes. But there's still work to be done. I think the culture of FIFA hasn't really changed yet. People don't seem to understand that this goes well beyond the technical level. In 2011, FIFA boss Sepp Blatter presented Mark Piet to the media as the man who would clean up world football's governing body. FIFA has welcomed the critical appraisal in the committee's final report, but there's been no other reaction and no public bickering. I always called a spade a spade. I didn't shy away from saying exactly what I thought. So you felt you were being taken seriously? I think that's how it was within the organization, also with Mr. Blatter. He got used to me, the guy he'd asked to step in, independently talking to the media. FIFA has not managed to shake off its image as an organization that's hard to reform and often lacking in transparency. Piet feels the Football Association should also come under external pressure to shape up. Switzerland could, for example, use its tax legislation. It could say that tax breaks will only be made available if FIFA adopts five particular rules. Switzerland could do this right now.